So recently, the long-awaited Caves and Cliffs update part 2 has been released for Minecraft, an amazing update, but we're not going to talk about that today, we're going to talk about what's in the trailer. Around 26 seconds into it, we see this. So I naturally reacted on Twitter with a bad screenshot, go follow me there if you haven't already by the way, and my posts usually get 20, 30 likes. Why did this get 200? So yeah, I got the message. Uh, I'll add them. All right. So now when you load into the game, wait, no, wrong splashes. So now whenever an entity lands into water, you have a splash. And of course, these splashes also produce droplets and ripple effects like in the trailer. Now, normally I wouldn't do a video about this because it's just such a small addition. However, there's just two things I wanted to show you. The first thing is that the splash depends on the size of the entity. So for a zombie, it's, you know, medium sized. But if we try something like a silverfish, you'll see the splash is actually smaller and it also works with items for instance so if we drop just a bunch of items into the water as you can see they all have their tiny splash but if we take something giant like a ravager it does quite a splash with all the droplets that drops down and yeah so it depends on the width of the entity landing in the water but it also depends on its speed if we summon say a villager 300 blocks away it's gonna have quite a fall and yeah you see the splash is actually Higher. So yeah, I hope you enjoy these flashes and Moyang, please don't actually add them. You're already two fireflies away from me. I don't think I can take much more. 